Okay, so once that has finished, you'll end up with a file like this. Um, it'll have this MOS underscore blah ending. Uh, and you need to do that for each of the, the images. Remember, you have two images. You're going to end up with two images as part of your stereo pair. So in this one, um, you can tell they have different beginnings. So 0248 versus 025108. That, that just means those are two different images. So what I would do right now is I would run it again, except this time um, for those images instead. So I've already done this, and I have uh, my cube file for each, each of those. So the next step is to um, pro map project these or ortho rectify, I think is, is how it's is the word. Um, I have to make sure I'm in my directory. Data. Mary. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the command cam to map for stereo. And this time I'm going to write those files that was that were just written. So zero two four eight one eight seventy. But I'm gonna put both of my image, my, both of my cube files in the same line. So just put a space and then write the second one. So that is o two five one. And then you hit enter to run that. Um, I've actually already done that, so I'm just going to show you the next step. So once you have run that, you'll end up with two uh, two more files. Where is it? All of these in between steps make a bunch of other files, so. It's kind of hard to find what I'm looking for. Okay, so the cam to map for stereo will output a file with this extension, map.cube. And then what we're going to do next is actually create the DEM. Now, the most important, or something that's really important, is actually your stereo default file. So you see here I have this file called stereo default. You're going to need to copy and paste a stereo default file into um, every directory that you're uh, going to make DEMs out of. So I have a stereo default file in here for my 1505. Come on, Internet. And so in each of these folders, I'm, I have a stereo default file. Now, stereo default file is important because that is where all of your customized parameters are, and um, AIM Stereo Pipeline takes all of that information from stereo default. So, what you're going to do is you're going to open that with a text editor, and you're going to edit the stereo default file uh, to your specifications. So, if you're using high rise imagery, uh, your alignment is going to be none. Um, I go through all of these in my paper. Yeah, I go through all of these in my paper. So you configure this however you want, and yeah, that's good. If you run into an error when you try to run your DEM, one thing you're going to want to check is the permissions on this file. So I have everything. It has 
everything checked for permissions. A lot of times you'll run into errors where it couldn't open the stereo default file or, or whatever. The first thing I always check is this permissions because this has stopped so many DMs from running correctly. So that's probably the first thing to check if you're running into errors. Okay, so now that my stereo default file is set up and I've got my my map.cube files, the next step is to actually make my DEM. So what you're going to do is you're going to write stereo, that's the command, and then you're going to write the name of the two files. So that's the two map files, so 0, 2, 4, 8, 1, 8, And just like the other one, I'm going to put a space and then write the next one. Oh, that's the one I already wrote. Where's the other one? Now after this you're going to write results and then you're going to write um oh you're going to say where you want this to go. So I I like my results to go into a folder called results slash and then whatever you put after this is what the file is going all the files related to this particular DM are going to be named. So I'm just gonna write example for now. Um Except, hold on. So if you just wanted to hit enter, this would run the DEM and you could disconnect your screen and come check on this in two days because that's how long it would take to run this DEM. Uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this image so that I only focus on one dune. So. I'm going to open the stereo GUI instead. That's the graphic user interface. So if you just write stereo underscore underscore GUI uh, instead of just stereo and then hit enter. So what it's doing right now is it's creating um, an image pyramid. So it's going to open up a graphic user interface where I can interact with the two cube files, uh, but it needs to basically create a preview. So that's going to take a little bit of time, so I'll come back when that is done.